Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Alpha here, and uh, today we're gonna be making a tutorial. I haven't made one in a long time, but uh, today we're gonna be making a tutorial on how to add mods into Skyrim. Now, I've reviewed a couple of mods on how to find the mod in Skyrim, but I haven't uh, up, like uh, made a tutorial on how to up or how to enable a mod or add it into your Skyrim folder. Now, I'm only doing this because like there is there are people who are like they might have trouble with it. And there's like confusion and stuff that I might not be able to explain in the comment, but it's easier to explain in the video. So I'm gonna be doing the video, and uh, before before you start modding, and if your game is downloaded by like a uh, Pirate Bay or you, a torrent, then you would have to like all Skyrim gets gives you a launcher, right? And some Skyrim launchers have an, uh, an a disabled data files button like see I can click on options I can click on tech support which I shouldn't have and I can click on exit but I can't click on data files and people like some it pissed me off whenever I couldn't click on it until I found the fix so I'm going to show you how to fix that and then how to add your mods into it so to fix data files the first thing you need to do before you start modding alright so before you, down, before you download any mod just make sure data files is enabled what you want to do is first exit this and uh, like I said earlier, if you're downloading, it, if you downloaded the uh, Skyrim on a torrent or something, then it should pop up in your torrent or a folder like this. I've copied mine from a friend; he he gave it to me, so I have it on a folder like that. But uh, if you have it by Steam, if you purchased it off Steam, then it should go into computer, local disk C, program files 86, and into your Steam folder, like so. And then you should find the Elder Scrolls, uh, the Elder Scrolls, and then Skyrim. Otherwise, if like you downloaded it normally, which uh, is a torrent, which I don't recommend doing because you won't get the DLCs and purchasing it is much much better. So yeah, so you get Elder Scrolls, right? And then um, what you want to do is you want to go to Elder Scrolls or all the Skyrim video, all the Skyrim folders you have. And uh, they're gonna. They, it comes with the Skyrim prefs that I and I folder, which you can open up with uh, Notepad. Now to fix it, you have to add a code such as this, which is like launcher, and then add the code. All right. You have to add this code. But I'm not gonna view it much because I'm pretty sure that this this folder here does not affect my game, and it won't fix that button. What fixes my my button is uh, the documents. When I head on the, down the documents and I go to my games, Skyrim, and Skyrim prefs, I'll get these bunch of codes. All right. So what you want to do is you want to search for a launcher, and then you go down here, and then you'll find B solution all resolutions equals one, U last aspect equals U last aspect ratio equals three. What you want to do is you want to write B enable selection equals one just like that all right be enable selection no file selection sorry about that be enable files file selection equals one and then you want to close this or just save it and then launch your Skyrim game launcher and you should be able to uh, use the data files now I've just cleared out all my mods so let's uh, put some mods back on real quick um put that that scan mod yes and so so that's how you enable a mod that's how you enable the data files now to put in a mod just like I have all these mods here to put a mod in you want to download a mod and my recommendation for mods is is uh, Skyrim's Nexus mods dot com this is Skyrim or uh, Bethesda's form of mods. You also have Nexus Networks of Dragon Age Nexus, Fallout 3, Morrowind, New Vegas, Oblivion, and The Witcher, and uh, etc. etc. So you're gonna find here is like Skyrim. Since you go on Skyrim.nexus all you'll find is Skyrim and you got the hot files which is like the latest ones and you got more and just reviews and uh, DLC, I don't know what that is. I haven't played it yet and you want to go to like top files and just pick a mod. Alright so if you ha unless you have a mod that you want to choose from, go ahead and use Skyrim.nexus. Links in description. 
all right once you've downloaded the mod it should go into documents no nope. yeah download and uh, let's see let's find it all right, I, I got a halo mod which I want to try so I've downloaded this before I made the video so you want to extract the mod onto desktop or you can just uh, open that and put it but I, I recommend like you have a folder for it and like all your mods folder in one new folder so which one do you want to open Skyrim your Skyrim folder uh, Skyrim no Elder Scrolls data all right oops all right open the the mod and uh, open data all right you're gonna find these what you want to do is since you have data here and data here you just want to copy what's inside and drag it uh, into data so what you want to do is uh Okay, since meshes is already available, skip it and uh, see if I copy. Let's see, Halo, 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 Halo mods. Okay, what about textures? The textures go in. Uh, yeah, no, no textures didn't go. In. So, okay, so you have textures, a folder called textures. You want to open that and open the one here and just drag the Halo one inside. And then meshes, I guess. Uh, actors and Halo. I have to just keep it in. All right, um, just drag that in. Then I go back here and put Halo. Now I don't, I don't know what I've just like, if this was right or wrong. But this is what I do sometimes. Some, some mods like let's see any mods I have, uh, like Amazing Fallen Tweaks, or the Bethany Fireblade. You would just get like hiring that, and you just have to uh, extract it into the data files. Now, if you're confused on where to put, like what 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 folder exactly to put inside, either documents or Steam folder, try to put it in all the Skyrim folders you have in order to like uh, not confuse yourself. So what I just did, I put in all the mods, and then I want to go here, and I should find a Halo mod that ESP, right? And you just if it's not tick, then tick it and click OK. And then that's basically it. That's it. You your mod should be enabled, and you. Uh, some mods they won't come straight away like the halo mod I have to go forge the armor from the uh, the sky haven or whatever that sky, what was it called sky forge all right and um, some mods they're not just gonna appear and like if it's a magic mod it's not gonna appear into your magic magic category you have to go find the book and learn the spells such as my Midas Magic uh, tutorial, you don't have to go find the book. So make sure that you have great uh, the data files, great not grayed out, which I've showed you how to do before. The codes to ungray it is in the description. Everything is in the description, even the Halo mod. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you guys are confused, please please leave a comment. I will help you as soon as possible. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. See you guys later.